was crack a lacking. You know what perplexes me? Facebook. I'm almost to the point where, you know, see, I don't even play around like that with Facebook. You know, you got people that spend all their money. Well, not all of it, but they put money in that Facebook crap and, and um, you know, House Call Pro, and Angie's List and all that. I've tried one of, of those types of advertisement, and they took all of what I had for, for extra money, which was $150. It ain't much, but I did not get one single positive feedback from it. So that's enough for me to, that's enough to discourage somebody. You feel me? You know, I like old school better anyway. But I can't imagine how this works. When you post uh, a video to a group, you expect to see yours as an order as when um, people are posting. So let's say if somebody comes along and posts something behind my post, then obviously theirs will be at the top. Now, of course, when you're dealing with administration, they can put theirs ahead of everyone's and keep it there, I imagine. I think that's how it goes. But what I'm seeing is favoritism on certain people's... Um, I'm not pointing any fingers at any particular group. But it ain't too hard to see which ones I'm talking about. Because it's not just one. It's multiple ones, okay? It's multiple groups that I've seen that has done this. Now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just I'm just being observant, you know? I'm just overanalyzing things like I normally do, right? But what I can't figure out is why the favoritism part is even if that person has nothing to do with WCR. It's almost like they're for certain people and they'll let their posts stay up there for days, even weeks. I see the same darn post. Days and weeks on end. And every time I post... I just post and I go back to look to see if anyone either made a comment or even at least looked at it. Not many people are looking at it anyway, but still that's besides the point. When someone likes it, maybe like one or two people and I click back on, I'm like fourth, fifth down. And then I scroll up. I'm like, I just posted this. Why the heck is it all the way down the bottom of the group's page? It doesn't make any sense to me. And then I'm scrolling up. I see that goddamn same post again that's been there for weeks. And he's not even an administrator. So that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the deal is with the favoritism. You know, I mean, I could care either less. But that... My friend, I'm going to let y'all know right there alone is enough to not make anyone want to post a video in the group, you know? Unless, of course, it actually has some meaning and some value. Then I'll see their post up there because I've seen it done before. But if ain't anything good in anyone's post, They'll keep the same post that they apparently think should be seen by everyone. Stay at the top of the page. The same damn post. Day in after week after week. <laughs> I just keep shaking my head like, you know, I get to the point where I don't even come and visit half the groups no more because of this alone. You know what I mean? Why the heck do I belong to a group? If no one even acknowledged that I'm there or watched the video, it blows my mind. 
how many people want to belong to something and they're not even accepted just to be a number. Oh, I have 17,000 or 80,000 or 50,000 in this group. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nobody really gives a hoot nanny because when someone does finally post, then you got these wolf packs mentality jumping all over them and criticizing them. <laughs> you gotta love it, my friend. You gotta love it. Oh, man. You see, I don't even feed in all that. You see all that nonsense? I ain't got time for it. This is why I either leave groups or I just don't say nothing at all. Or that I just don't post nothing at all. You know what? I, I tell you what. One thing, I get more acknowledgement on a group that's under 300 or 400 people than I do that is in a group of over 10, 5, 15, 20,000. You feel me? The more people you have in a group, you think the more people would acknowledge you. But I guess that's just not necessarily true, huh? <laughs> so scratch that theory. I guess I overanalyzed that too much. Too much to the point where I just missed the whole concept. Uh, well, maybe I'll never figure it out. It ain't rocket science. But uh, I guess you either built to understand it or not. It's a whole nother generation, man. And they can have that. They really can. I ain't getting my panties in a bunch over that or nothing. You feel me? <laughs> I ain't got time. This is Masters at Wagtail. What are you doing? Get away from my car. And I'll see you in the next one.